Greetings, pin friends. Larry here from Larry Stoughton Pin Review. And today, I want to go over a pin of one of my favorite pins. Uh, I've always have liked them. Um, and let you show you the pin. It comes in this beautiful box. And it is a Compline. Established 1898. Duraflex, right there. The elements. And... Uh, on the side, it does have the limited edition Duraflex the water. And on the side of the box, so I can read it, it's going to be, the number is 1224 of this pen of 1898 that has been made, Coughlin, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, on the side. So, before I open it, let me tell you a little bit about Coughlin. Again, Coughlin was... Established in 1898. So the number of pins made are 1898. And that is to pay homage for the Dura uh, Graph 91st birthday. They launched this year. So there you have it. That's the reason why the 1898. And again, you'll see that 1898. And your pin will be numbered here. And I, I pur purchased this pin from Pin Chalet. So, thank you, Jenny, from Pin Chalet. So, Yalfa comes into the picture when they purchased uh, the Conklin line. Uh, so, that happened around 2009. All the pins are manufactured in Asia. Yep. Yeah. And distribute from the Congo Park of California, uh, which pays tribute to the roots with Toledo, Ohio. So that's pretty interesting stuff, which is the engraving on the nib and barrel. And you'll see that there, okay? Uh, so let's get started. Open the box here. They have a really nice presentation box. Kind of a leatherette type with the gold imprints of the Conklin. And when you open it, here is this amazing pen. Beautiful. And uh, it's just like a rich foam. with the Conklin logo on the back of it. And here's the pen. Let me get my pad here if you don't mind. Put it on. And it comes with the instruction card about Conklin. Tells you all the nine yards, Conklin Pen USA, guarantee, warranties, everything that you need to do and you pull this off and it comes with two cartridges and here in the card it says the elements fire earth and water and the website on the back it tells you about the elements okay so that's what comes in this box now i did give one a full set away to the winner uh i forgot the gentleman's name but uh uh, he got the beautiful pin case with all three of the pins, and they were all the with the uh, Duraflex nibs on them, and uh, even a bottle of Earth ink that was pretty cool for the Elements ink, whichever they call it. So that was cool. So when I saw these pins, and I wanted to have one, and this the rose colored trim on the, the pen is really my favorite and then on the ring it's going to have Coughlin and on the back of that ring it's going to have the Dura uh, graph with the emblems on back of it that's slick on the top of the finial it does have Coughlin on there on top you can't see it but it's on there and on the side of the barrel, it does have, like I said earlier, 
Duraflex, Duraflex, excuse me, limited edition, 1224, it's the number of the pen, slash of 1898. So, I was lucky to get in on the number of the pins. So, let's talk about the dimensions of this pen. All right. The length capped, the overall size is going to be 5.5 inches. Unscrew the cap. It does post securely for those who like to post their pins. It might look a little bit long, so but it does post. So this fits kind of perfect in my hand, but would I post it? I probably would for a while. Uh, so, so when you uh, post the pen, it's going to be 6.9 inches. And the overall weight is 0 0.9 ounces. And this one came with the black nib, which I wanted. And again, on the nib, you can see the Conklin and the logo really nicely done. The whole pen is really nicely done, I think. Not a demonstrator, no it's not. It's got yellow and blue freckles all over the pen, which I do like the colors on this pen. I think it looks just stunning with the rose gold and the black nib. That really looks stunning to me. And it uses the number six Jovo nibs. And the nibs are coming extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 stub, and the Omniflex. So I already have, I think, an Omniflex, one or two of them. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go with the medium nib this time. The material of the pen is resin, as well as the grip. Let's open the pen up and talk about what's inside. It does come with a converter. And the converter unscrews out. So remember, don't pull it. Do not pull it. They have threads there that screws in. Okay? That's real important. Do not pull it out. Because you'll strip the threads out on it. So, uh, the, the converter holds about 1.04 mils. And if you decide to go use a cartridge, it's about 1.05 mils, somewhere in there. Okay? So, it does use standard international short cartridges. And but again, what's cool about this pen is it does come with a converter and it does have the screw-on cap, which a lot of people like. So do I. Yep. So this is the pen right here. Nice looking pen. So what I want to do now, my friends, is have you join me while I do some writing. So first of all, let me get my tissue ready. I think I'm going to use the Mont Blanc Emerald. It was a hard decision. I was going to use the blue, but I said, you know what? I haven't done the Emerald yet, so I want to test it out myself. So, that's what I'm going for. Here we go. That's almost a nice full ink. I'll let a few drops out, get some of that air out. Set that aside. Now I shall close the bottle. Alrighty. You put the lime in the coconut and check it all up. Here we go. Alright. It's all good. I'll set that aside. Now the paper I'll show you is my trusty 
Tama River paper. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And I'll put it back in the barrel. And we'll close it up for a minute. Don't go away. We will soon get to writing. Let's see how this pen writes. I too am very interested. All righty, so let's get all this stuff over here out of the way. And I'll go ahead and post it. This is the Conklin. with a medium nib. Again, I didn't choose the Duraflex nib because I already have one. And has a really nice ink flow, a really nice nib on here. I've had no problems with it. Little wet test. It's wet, I can tell you now, just laying it nice and wet. And the ink I'm using is the Emerald by Mont Blanc. Really a nice color. I like it. I do like the color of the ink. Let's try some reverse writing. And you do get a totally different line variation. Very nice. And no problem with the ink flow as well. And I'll show you a down stroke and a cross stroke. And it does lay down the ink very nicely. So, there you have it. The Cochrane Door Flex Element. This is the water. Beautiful pen. Nice nib. And I'm glad I picked this one up. So, folks, hey, thank you for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pens. I hope everybody is safe, keeping them hands washed. And as always, my friends, don't text and drive. Bye-bye! <laughs> yeah.